Hello and welcome to Chateau Dreams. Anyone who tells you that moving to a chateau in the deep south of France with a young family, dogs, horses and others, during Covid lockdown, on schedule and without losing your sanity, is either mad, unrealistic or a billionaire. But in all cases, potentially dangerous to know. Welcome to our crazy joy and terror filled life. We'll go backwards and forwards in time, meeting volunteers, animals, local artisans and visiting places nearby. We'll try and pick up some French along the way and some French culture to try and give you guys an armchair view of what life is like down here in the deep south of France. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Ems. Welcome to Chateau Dream. As you can see, we're currently in the Breton Beacons, so we're not yet in the south of France where we're going to a wonderful chateau that is in many senses renovated but there's still a lot of work to do. My husband and I have two children and we have a number of horses we're taking with us, two tortoises and two puppies who you'll meet later. So it's quite a big trip, quite a big adventure and we're all very excited. We were due to be there in June but unfortunately due to the advent of Covid-19 things are taking a little bit longer um, and we're hoping to be there in the next week or so. So I hope you will join us for exciting adventures, laughter, chaos and general craziness over the next few weeks before we get there. And then once we're there, come and see the chateau with us in our journey in getting it all up to scratch and standard uh, down in the south of France. So look forward to uh, cracking on with this and seeing more of you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Got to get some gates like this <laughs> over in France. Aha! And here we have introducing Blue, the big one. Hello, hello, hello puppies. The advent of COVID-19, Safair, the government agency, and the whole of France obviously shut quite rightly. And so therefore our government checks to check whether or not the government want to compulsorily purchase the land uh, took a little bit longer than they were meant to, which is absolutely fine given the situation. And so therefore as an emergency we came to stay with my mum and dad here in Taliban, which is glorious and actually really nice to catch up with the family prior to moving over to France. Uh, we were hoping that they'd be able to join us quite soon to come and see the property, but uh, both of them are shielding currently. So as a result of that, we're hoping that they'll come and see us over in October, but I will try and introduce you later um, and, uh, and we can all get to get to know each other. So, thank you. Before I do that, I thought it'd be really nice just to take you on a short tour of the garden and uh, show you where we've been living for the last week or so, give you a bit of an idea. It's quite a... What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
this what's your type somehow i want to know all about you deep connection lights a spark you already know me when we get in the dark we're dreamers Well, I've chosen this rather glorious spot, which you can't see because actually behind me is a beautiful vista just outside Pontypool where we're off to go and see WeBuyAnyCarBot.com because unfortunately today is the day that we're going to get a price on Beetle and see if he has to um, be sold ready for our grand adventure to France. So Beetle is a fantastic Nissan Leaf. Uh, 24 kilowatt that I've had for the last two years and has served us so well um, but sadly all good things must come to an end and so it is time for him to move on hopefully to his new family ready for our chateau adventure in France I had chosen I had hoped to be able to show you the glorious view here but as you can see I pulled into a lay-by and there is a gentleman over there who might be doing something slightly nefarious I'm not sure so I'm staying in the car because I'm on my own right so for those of you who don't know very much about electric cars they are taking the world by he's fully electric I plug him in at home and within two hours and 90 pence later I have 90 miles worth of um, traveling joy um, which is just brilliant value and has made a massive difference to us uh, with the two small children just taking them on you know little trips and adventures not too far away from home um, obviously it's a bit different during C19 um, we can only go to garden centers but that's still very nice occasionally when we need things and uh, but for the school run all of those things it's made a phenomenal difference to our lives and also to our cash flow as well so for anyone who's thinking of getting an electric car um, if you like I can do a sort of a, a review later if people would be interested in that but um, I have to say they are amazing so I'll just show you the inside of Beetle so you can see um, he's brilliant for uh, doing school runs, doing the shopping, you know, unlike some of the other cars, they, it, it is a bit larger inside, which is incredibly helpful for us. And they also are extremely good value to buy now. So, you know, let's see. I'm not quite sure in the area because it is so beautiful. We're now out of the National Park um, in the Brecon Beacons, going towards, um, going towards uh, Pontypool itself so you know coming down and in towards the valleys so different area not very far away from where we were but the topography and the landscape changes quite a lot so it's quite interesting um, and if I get some you'll see that as with the rest of the Wales everything is bilingual so you have the English in the top and then the Welsh underneath um, as a part of the heritage so let's see what happens now with we buy any car keep your fingers crossed for beautiful view that I promised you and as you can see this is just on a typical low bar here it's so gorgeous okay so one of the things I promised to let you guys know about was how the we buy any car valuation went down as you remember for Beetle in a sand leaf they said maybe 5285 but when I got there having had a look at the car it was a grade three a couple of knocks and bashes so we got 4650 for it but frankly that's fantastic that's the money we needed and I just 
gave it to them, and off they went. They do have a few administration charges, though, so it is worthwhile going there well in advance, because if you want the money in your account immediately, they actually charge you extra for that. So anybody going to do it, it's fine. Clearly you wouldn't get as much if you were going to sell the car normally, but it's it's definitely a very worthwhile option if you're thinking of going abroad, and particularly at the moment, yeah. when obviously it's very difficult to sell cars during lockdown. Oh, I have a little friend. So here we are in Abergavenny at the lovely field that uh, we've been lent for some of our horses in between times before we get to France. And we've just heard that we can go to France this weekend. Really exciting. We can get the ferry. The horses are going to go a day before and uh, we should get to France on Monday. And we are going the Portsmouth to Saint Malo trip, which will be lovely, on the ferry, which is an overnight. And everybody at the moment with Covid has to have a cabin, quite rightly. So yeah, looking forward to that adventure and uh, trying to make the most of this glorious sunshine we have here today in Wales. So really nice, a few bits to do, um, but all is good. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. comes the horse transporter take our eight horses this time over to the chateau most excitingly uh, horses seem pretty interested so far there we go so what are you two doing in here you just letting him walk around, are you? Okay, ah, ah! What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Oh, wow, it's Do like a sort of... Oh, it's like a sort of... It's a spark. It's a spark. It's a spark. In the depths of my heart, we're dreamers. What are we doing today? Today, we're moving house all the way to the south of France. And how do you feel? Really, really excited! <laughs> are you? And how are we going to get there? Mm -hmm. A boat. Mm. On a big ferry. And what do you think it's going to be like on the ferry? Um, I think it's going to be like... Like being under the sea. <laughs> And I also think it's and I know and I think it's gonna have some dinghies on the back and the side. That sounds cool. And are we pretty organised, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> the house mostly it's clean. Excellent. Your weakness. 
Dream. 